Social Security has been the bedrock of retirement security, paying cash benefits to tens of millions of older Americans, people with disabilities, and their families. It has also helped to reduce poverty among recipients. But action is needed soon to address the program's financial challenges. Social Security benefits are funded primarily through taxes current workers and employers pay into the system, which go into two trust funds, one for retirement and one for disability benefits. Social Security is a social insurance program in which society as a whole insures its members against risks they all face. Some people will receive benefits that exceed their contributions and others will not, depending on how long they live and other factors. The population of older Americans is growing as the baby boom generation retires and life expectancy increases. These, along with other factors, are contributing to a widening gap between how much Social Security takes in and how much it spends. In 2010, costs for Social Security began to exceed tax revenues, and this trend is forecast into the foreseeable future. The disability program is projected to be unable to pay full benefits on time by the fourth quarter of 2016. After that, revenues would be sufficient to pay 81% of benefits. By 2035, the same fate is projected to befall the retirement program. If nothing is done, revenues would be sufficient to pay 77% of benefits. A variety of options have been proposed by policymakers, researchers, and other experts to put Social Security back on track. In the short term, Congress could direct more payroll taxes to the disability program or allow it to borrow from the retirement program. This would allow more time to develop a long-term solution, although key decisions about program financing would still have to be made. The longer we wait, the more severe the changes will need to be. Other suggested options to bolster the retirement and disability programs include changing benefits and eligibility, changing how benefits increase over time, and increasing taxes for Social Security. For the disability program, experts have suggested a variety of other options that include changing the eligibility criteria, improving how the program is administered, and helping workers with disabilities stay employed. If action is taken soon, changes can be phased in over time, lessening the impact on recipients and allowing more time for coming generations to plan for their financial futures. Delaying action will require more difficult decisions moving forward. GAO has issued a broad framework for policymakers to consider when evaluating these and other options as part of a comprehensive approach to strengthening the Social Security system. For more information, see GAO's Guide to Social Security's Future at www.gao.gov slash social security.